Welcome to this special lecture on the inside of STEAM. Remember that STEAM is a very interesting and important utility used in the chemical industry. So first things first, STEAM, well, we know that it plays a crucial role in heating, driving turbines, there are three main types of lines of steam and they are typically categorized due to their pressure. And I'm talking about low pressure steam, medium pressure steam and high pressure steam. Now from this, I will say that typically we have the low pressure or normal pressure steam. It can be below or vacuum steam, but typically above one bar or two from atmospheric conditions. And we have the high pressure steam, which is way much more efficient. Higher temperatures will last longer before condensing. But this really depends on the type of industries that you're working in. So ensure to check out the specific steam lines that you may have in your chemical plant. We're going to focus our attention into low pressure steam, uh, typically between 0.1 to 3 bars. And typical temperatures are between 110 all the way to 150. Once again, it really depends on the industry. The common uses are for space heating, radiators in the building, maybe maintaining a temperature in winter and such. For food processing, stated pasteurization, sterilization, all these type of processes that require a mild temperature, yet a steam condition. Next, the medium pressure steam, not quite common, but still you may find it out and the pressures are intermediates and temperatures all the way to 250. Process heating, so now we're talking about the actual process, not heating uh, facilities or such. Uh, we may be talking about heat exchangers, distillation and such. Chemical reactions in an environment that may require some temperature. And of course, steam stripping and purification processes. And next, high pressure steam. You can imagine high pressure and of course, high in temperature. Once again, this will really depend on the conditions of the industry, the processes, the chemicals that you're working with but we may for sure be talking about power generation uh, if you're working in an electric generator or such, but this will not be typically considered a chemical industry. But rather, I would like to focus my attention into heavy industrial processing, such as petrochemicals, refinery, uh, we're talking about cracking processes, thermal cracking and such, ammonia production that requires high temperatures and many other types of chemical processes that require high temperature. Finally, some small applications such as superheated steam applications. And I'm talking about enhanced oil recovery and other type of processes. Love is clean and love is pure. And love is a thing that no doctor can cure.